are back with another edition of The Drive presented by Odds Checker. I am Jeff Feinberg. With me is Andy Lack. It is Masters Week. Those beautiful trees behind Andy aren't just anywhere. That's not one of those <laughs> like background drops. Andy is in Augusta, ready for the full experience lay of the land. Although, you know, maybe Andy might have a different opinion on a Wednesday night than he does on a Monday night. This is when we are talking. We've been waiting for it. Golf world, it's been a pretty strange little bit, but the Masters brings us all together. No pun intended. Andy, how are you? Um, fantastic, Jeff. Um, it's beautiful in Augusta, <laughs> Georgia. Oh, I, sure. I, I gotta say, um, I really wish that the tournament was today because you could not have asked for a perfect day more for a more perfect day. Now I'm going to be at the golf course for the next four days. Um, and two of them are supposed to be spectacular. Two of them are, not um, particularly Thursday, you know, Wednesday night, we're supposed to get dumped on. Um, and that's going to bleed into a little bit Thursday morning. Um, so these reports that I don't know if you caught a snippet of Xander talking to the media today, but he was talking about how bouncy the golf course is, you know, five irons ricocheting off greens. Um, I'm a little bit worried that the golf course is going to get dumped on on Thursday. And of course, you know, whole separate podcast, but the sub air can't run in a rainstorm. So, you know, it's going to be an interesting week uh, it, from, from a weather standpoint. It's like we're going to get a lot of rain on Thursday and then it should dry out. Um, but I'm I'm as excited to talk about this with you um, as any other week of the year. I, I know I'm not alone that this is this is our Super Bowl. Yeah, so, I mean, there's a lot to take in there. And, you know, it's been a few years of weather implications at the masters we haven't had a nice clean go at it in some time is that affecting how you are making bets i mean what sort of conditions not to just um, as we go through the board this name will come up but player like shane lowry seems a quite a bit more sure. popular than i would have expected and that could be weather report related um, because he's the type of guy you'd probably might want to bet in those situations. Is this going to change how you look at making bets? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, the fun thing about weather, and you could say this about data, um, you know, weather and data is like a hostage situation, right? You could, you could make <laughs> it, you could make it, yeah. you could do whatever you want with it yep. to fit your own narrative. If yep. my takeaway from a wet golf course is remember when Rory McIlroy won the 2012 U S open at congressional, then so be it. That's my takeaway. Um, but I mean, I think that, you know, the main thing to keep in mind with weather, uh, with, with rain is carry distance. You might want to give a bump to that. Augusta's a long golf course, Jeff. Um, it gets longer by the year. The new T on two, I think, is going to play a little bit more of an impact than people think. Um, so in terms of the complexion of that hole. So I would say, I mean, we're doing this on a Monday night. Tea times aren't out. You know, we're going to do our best to give our recommendations. I've only made one bet. Uh, excuse me. I've made two bets. Uh, I have room for one or two more. Uh, but I would say, you know, keep an eye on those tea times because – I think we could see a bit of an advantage to the guys going off later in the day on Thursday and earlier on Friday, but it's early. It is early. And, you know, it just feels like it's, it's Monday night. It feels like it's been a long day of anticipation. There'll be a, a few more before we get there, which, you know, kind of makes me maybe Rory's got the right strategy this time showing up <laughs> as late as possible because oh, there is a lot that goes into that, but let's get, right into it it is the it is the masters it is augusta national um scotty scheffler plus 400 on the odds checker grid on the fresh you know update it's i've seen it plus 350 i've seen a little lower a little higher that's where we are right now rory 10 to 1 john rom 
12 to 1. And you know, let's stick with the under 20. Xander Shoffley has found his way, Andy, to plus 1600. I have a lovely futures card. I've only got room for a couple bets. They'll be above 50 to 1 this week. If you want that, you can find it on my Twitter feed at gfeinberg17. I'm going to do this without any mention. Yeah, I want to hear what you card. would do. Because it's I really wanna... hard. It's like, right. it's unfair to reference. Um, I'll cheat by saying, yeah, I don't know. Uh, this was, this is a hard no. Z- we'll start with Xander quickly. The only players it feels like that have won their first major under 20 to 1 since we sort of in this golf, you know, daily fantasy golf betting podcasting era would be just Dustin Johnson, Jason Day, maybe Jordan Spieth and and probably John Rahm. Um, so special players, guys like Dustin just felt totally destined. Xander, I don't know if he's on the full Dustin level, pre-Dustin actually winning, but we're kind of almost there. Your pants, certainly the price to do it on the opposite end is Scotty just not for me but i bet uconn to win the national championship at plus 400 so if casuals feel like they want to bet scotty at plus 400 as a golf guy i don't want to do it but i totally get why people would want to do it with the exact same logic rory there's too much noise there it's just not for me john rum is he being undersold Andy, you can take that any way you want all four of them we could talk about um i'm gonna do a quick take on each uh just so we can cover as much ground as possible uh, Scheffler, I get the question every year, who would you just a hundred bucks? He'll be there. Okay. Um, you want to throw, if you don't bet golf week in and week out, you don't care about a sustainable seven extra turn. Uh, Scheffler will be there. Okay. He finished 10th last year, losing four strokes putting. He's a better player now, and he doesn't have to deal with the defending champion stuff. So I uh, I'm with you. It's not for me, but if you're a casual and you want to throw a hundred bucks on Scotty Scheffler, my girlfriend bet Scotty Scheffler. I told her this, this is the highest likelihood that you're going to be interested on Sunday is betting Scotty Scheffler. And guess what? Scotty's going to go off in the second to last pairing, Jeff, or the third to last pairing, or he's going to be five back. The number he gets, so he's the freaking buggy man. I mean, he's not, yeah. Scheffler's going to have to be eight, 10 back on the weekend to be more than five plus 500. So you get a plus 400 ticket before the tournament starts. You want to add your favorite guy on Sunday. You'll have a fun day. Um, Rory, uh, it's beyond golf for me. I mean, uh, this is the masters with my dad. He's our guy. Um, so, you know, I, subjectively i bet rory because i want that more than any sports thing i've wanted in my life i bet him at lacc i bet him at um i bet him at st andrews how much more can a man take who knows I like, but it's my last time going to the masters with my dad you're freaking crazy if you don't think i'm betting see, rory. and i like andy because andy all year like every tournament other than the masters like the data will not interfere with anything but we get to the majors and you're just like, you're not just a golf fan. You're a better, but you're like, I'm literally just betting on guys. Like guys. I want to see win will break any tie like times 10. Yeah. Because yeah, it's amazing. Like, it's like my, I'm a golf fan as much as I'm a golf better. And the masters can really cloud that I'm with you too on that, that like fandom can really take over. I can maybe bet a guy I don't care to see win any other event, but a major, I have to want you to win to bet you. And maybe that's a fair disclaimer that we're going to put out here in some ways. Granted, with majors, you're really only talking about good players anyway, so there's no secret there. Um, yeah. So I like that. I, I la- Andy Andy can change his stripes, and he usually does it for Rory and majors. And as long as, yeah. Good, good for you, Andy. Good for you, buddy. John Rahm, just a cross-off defending champion. Not a cross-off. Um, can we Be just... Be undersold? Yeah, can we just take a second to, like, think about the fact that um, the guy wins the Masters. He wins four times last year. He also, you know, post-Masters, he finished 10th at the U.S. Open and 2nd at the Open Championship. He goes to Lev, um, finishes in the top eight, every single start in Lev. He's the best driver of the ball still on Lev. 
and you know he's coming back and hosting the champions there and he's not he's an afterthought to raw uh, to Sheffler. he's not even in the he's not even in the conversation uh of of best player in the world right now and and to me as somebody that has been arguing the other side of this for a while i i, I gotta say the pendulums it swung too far i i really think it has in terms of this like rom scheffler is still a thing um I spent all weekend locked up in a hotel room in Atlanta diving into left stats. This guy is like at worst, the second best driver of the ball in the world. Okay. Um, and I know he hasn't made enough putts to win five times on live, but I, I, you know, listen, I'm not betting him at 11 to one, but you know, the gap between them should not be what it is narratively market wise right now. I'm just telling you that right now. I know it's not a DFS show, but it, it's too much. It's it's too much. Rom's Rom's an animal, Jeff. And I, I also just want to say, like, how is the defending champion in prove it mode? Like, how does he like how does cool. how is Rom have Rom has bulletin board material this week? Like Rom has a chip on his shoulder. Like everybody is gonna talk shit about how dumb of a decision it was to go to live if he doesn't show up. I mean, come on, it's Okay, I mean, he's going to play well. Th th there's shows within shows here, but I will tell you that the bulletin board material is, I think it's, I it's one of the most fascinating things to me. Can John Rom like flip the switch in the same way like Brooks Kepka can? Because like he's good enough, he, he like in the way that going from music in the background, the shorts, and not even winning there to winning the Masters. And anyone who's been watching me do these videos for years knows I've always leaned John Rom in this like big three debate. Yeah. You know, pre this move, I was always like, no, Rom is my, like, I'll take Rom. You make me pick between the top, these top three. I always picked Rom. Yeah. Sometimes good, sometimes bad, more often bad. But so I'm not here to discount it, but you do now have to prove it in some weird way. Like you're playing in, no, no, I'm not saying it's not competitive, it's just freaking different. Right. Like there's music uh -huh. there's short, like I'm not even knocking it. I'm just saying it's different. We saw Brooks just be able to flip that switch like it meant nothing. Yeah. I think Rom can. But in some ways, like you got to show me you can. Yeah. Um, speaking know, of, are, yeah. Yeah. So I was going to say, well, I wanted to we yeah, can do, do it. one do or it. two things on Xander. But um, do they want us to bet Brooks at 20 to one? Dude. I've been I, I've spent some time on Twitter today. I'll tell you one thing, Jeff. Rory and Rom aren't taking action. Okay. I know Coley put out Rom. That made me feel better about my Rom take. And I've said a couple of times in, in group chats, like, hey, give me a Rom Brooks matchup. I'm taking Rom because I'm just really high on Rom this week and he's kind of the last man out of my betting card. But um, you know. There's a 22 on Brooks and that's, and he's getting bet. There's, so, Brooks you know, I, I watched, I watched Doral. He looked bad. Um, I don't know if the, the folks over at the sports books and bet three, six, five were watching Doral too, but I was still, I, I'm like, I don't have a bad thing to say about Brooks. Like the guy still terrifies me. I think Rom's going to outperform him this week, but he's 20 to one and it's getting bet and it ain't moving Jeff. Getting bad, it ain't moving. I've seen places offer boosts, even that come with like an attached each way. But even if you broke that off, it's 30 to one. I'm like, uh oh, yeah. If I had to start a, a betting card this week, I think I would be betting them. Maybe I still should. I'm not. I'm yeah. not. I'm one of these weirdos that think Xander will. Speaking win. of a number that did move. Yeah. Speaking of a number that did move. And imagine betting Xander and not betting Brooks. Like yeah. what sort of, you know, I've joked it. I've said it a couple of times today. Josh Allen said he knows what he signed up for when asked about the worries of CTE. If bet Xander Shoffley, you know what you signed up for. Like, you know what you're signing up for. But to think, yeah, like there's people out there. Um, I've Xander had a bigger number, but I said we're not talking about those. Um Still, even at the bigger number, it feels weird to think that you're going to bet him over Brooks Kepka. It's strange. Brooks is like evergreen awesome. And out of all those guys, I might even rather bet Hideki Matsuyama at 22 to 1, Andy, who's been absolutely striping it. So there's a lot. 
The board has been squeezed, but there's a lot to go yeah. over. No, that's what I was going to say. Like, I want to rapid fire this um, this range from like Spieth to Finau. Rapid like, it. like, because I have, I bet Rory, I got a wonderful 13 on Rory. It uh, could be a paper bag parking lot situation, but I got a wonderful 13 on Rory. And then I have one guy at 50. Um, so I'm kind of locked into this Spieth, Hideki, Neiman, Aberg, Cantlay, Hovland, Zalatoris, Clark, Bryson, Finau range is I, I, I can pick a guy there. I can pick a guy there. It's hyper fascinating. There's a lot of names. I don't really care for Spieth. That could be other people's bag. It yeah, ain't, I kinda, it yeah, ain't for me. I do think I do think Aberg and Wyndham are going to play great. I don't care about that. Who do you prefer? Well, I prefer Aberg. Okay, but that makes that's good because I have a take. Um, I think he's going to play I don't think great. I, play these well. these these debutants they've been getting better and better, and that like top debutant odds board is going to be beautiful. I've seen, like I haven't really seen it posted yet, but yeah. just those names. Oh my god! Um, what a what a fun market that that'll be for people to break down later in the week, Andy. Um. I guess as you get to this range and even a little bit higher, Zalato outside of the debutants in Aberg and Clark, I would say Willie Z's probably been playing the best, but there's a lot of names here, you know, from Cantley, Cam Smith, Hovland, obviously. Um, so my question to you, and even beyond when we get you, you talk about a Morikawa, whatever, Homa, can you fix a problem at Augusta National? Like, can problems get fixed here? Is it possible to fix your problems and win? Uh, I I think this is a Victor Hovland conversation. Um, no, it's for all of them. Like, you could make it a okay. call more Kawa. Well, I wanted to talk Calmore. about Hovland a little bit because yeah, let, it's okay. Yeah, I, I think it's another case where you buy in hot, like you buy in uh, I, I, so I, high, you buy low I, here, buddy. Big Victor I number. The, I think the pendulum has swung a little bit too far. I just do. I think he's sharp enough to win the Masters. Like I, I am. It's not a DFS show, but I'm like clearly on the boat of. Hovland's undervalued. The narrative has gone too far with his short game. He's actually chipped really well at Augusta in the past. He's had three weeks off to figure stuff out. Um, he's going to play better. People that are discounting him are wrong. I think he's going to play a lot better than people think. Is his short game sharp enough to win? You know, he's going to miss undeniably at Augusta. You're going to miss four or five greens around. Can you get up and down at the same rate that, that Scheffler can to win a golf tournament. I'm not sure if it's sharp enough now. There's usually, um, we do not see three weeks off win ever in golf. Forget Masters. Like it doesn't, guys, you take a week or two off, but guys coming back from a month doesn't happen too scary, often, man. Scary. Yeah. Um, Same I with will Cantlay. say, I, listen, not getting into it, although I'm getting into it. For all my futures, I got some beautiful ones. This is the one has moved against me. Um, uh -huh. Clearly, clearly. Hobbit, when you, when you had, yeah, clearly. And you've got Victor. Guy, in the Jeff, he's the best player in the world in December. Okay? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Whatever. Like, I had it well before. This and this is in. the one yeah. I probably had this longer than any of them, Andy. I probably had this the day they posted 2024 Masters odds up. Um been sitting on it for a while it's moved against me uh, a couple of them have that's part of the game when you just plan futures and i use this odds I, checker. I, I use this I odds wanna, checker grid all freaking year yeah i want to credit you though numbers. for acknowledging that you've made a few bad bets because there's so many people out there that will just hammer futures all year and then will just act like they never bet them uh no i got a couple uh, they can st start their own card anew and and act like they never made those, you know, your Ricky 60 to ones bets or your whatever you're calling 30 to one bets um, or your your Tom Kim 50 to one bets Boy. or whatever they may have you and just start afresh. But but, oh, we're going to then they'll, then we'll talk about the Neiman 
whatever the Neiman big ones, but forget about all the other ones. So I, I commend you for being transparent. No, and honestly, there's ones I like. I stared at a big Hideki. I stared at Wyndham's. I think about the ones I let go away. Uh, honestly, but yeah, no, Vic moved against you. Who'd have saw that one? I didn't see that coming. I don't know. This is historically been a bit of a weird range. And yeah. Because we've kind Let's... of seen either like the very top win at Augusta or this next tier, this like 40 to 60 pocket has been the profitable tier in between. Not very profitable. Um, yeah. But in, the, in that range. Um, yeah. It's the Masters. I lean Willie Z and I would lean Hovland. Um, but okay. you mentioned you had a bet at 50 to one. Yeah. So unveil it for me. Yep. Um, I know we talk about uh, kind of Hovland Ludwig as the Rory Jr., but if we're talking about major performance on classical big ballparks like Southern Hills and St. Andrews, uh oh, I think it's just going to happen for the guy. Um, he is hitting the ball so freaking well. Orville Moody, Jeff Feinberg, um, I want to say 1969. It's happened. First PGA Tour win being the Masters. Uh, I believe it was Orville Moody. So, uh, you know, I, I, I just love the way that <laughs> Cam Young is playing oh. golf right now. I love his. <laughs> you didn't have that on your bingo card. This is the second time this has happened to me because I woke up this morning thinking, Okay, I'm the Cam. I've been the Cam Young truther, but like, okay, and that this is the second time they're doing a the show, and the people I trust the most are like, you know, who I like this week. Yeah, Cam Young. I've always the Masters is so big, but I've long been the proponent that his win. I'd rather bet him at the biggest number in the full field because when it happens, he's going to be unstoppable. Like the week it hits, it's going to be unstoppable. Um, yeah, I, I, I like, I've, I didn't want to like it, but as like the truther of the guy and seemingly been a big defender of his this year, even before he started having these great results, I'm okay. I like it. Uh, I get, this is very intriguing because if I didn't have a futures card, I'd be pepper in this 50, the Finaus, yeah. the Cam Youngs, um, the gala i could totally buy the mail on that sort of thing and even you know i've seen that dj flirting with 45 it's patrick uh shane lowry getting a lot of hype i could circle around that i don't know if i'd get to it but um this is where i would be making like all my bets and i'm still probably gonna fire two of them over 50 to one and i'm thinking it's gonna be cammy and sahif but okay yeah, I, Cam. I, I, I like Finau too. Yes, I, I really do. Yeah, yeah I like Finau a lot. I one last thing on Finau, um, you know, now we're Cam Young. Both. Um, yeah. I bet Cam Young, but you know, I may bet Finau too. I wish there's, you know, I missed a fifty on Finau. There's got to be a fifty on Finau somewhere. Yeah, it could be coming back. I just refreshed the grid, so uh, you could yeah. be seeing those again. He. Yeah, I mean, we've spoken about it before with you mentioned Coley tipped. It might have been Rom, and it took a bit of a dip. But, yeah, Coley moved it, I'm pretty sure. There's very few people out there that can move the numbers so quickly, like Ben can. Um, the best yeah, I'm but he's moving, he's moving UK books, I would imagine. It's all, right? buddy, I'm seeing it happen in real time. I'm yeah. seeing it happen There's... in real. If you're thinking about betting a guy and Ben comes in on them, if you're not ready to move, you're going to lose it. But that's, I guess, credit credit to Ben and, and his his loyal audience. He's hit some big ones here before. And he even joked, Andy, I know we've gone a long time. I hope I didn't even run out the clock. So thank you to our friends at Odd Checker. And Andy's got a busy night, so I'm going to get him out of here in a couple minutes. But you know, make it about Ben. He joked, like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Like, cause everyone's kind of afraid of Scheffler. I got, yes, I'm here to pick a winner. But maybe right. I'm just here to find a guy's 150 to one and catch the places. Is yeah. that a pays like three times Scheffler? Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, maybe we're not there yet. I, I I could be tickled into Patrick Reed, although I'm probably full. Uh, like the stomach's Patrick full Reed. right now. 
You can mention someone else in front of. Uh, we'll have a placement spent on Corey Connors. Everyone knows I'm going to have like a placement spent on Corey Connors. Um, you know, I, I'm a sucker for for Min Woo or Si Woo, but uh, a- a- anything anything in front of a hundred, and then you tell me which hundred and fifty to one we're going to take on placements and make yeah. more than Scheffler's win. Yeah. Um. I like Si Wu. I don't think that's sneaking up on anybody. He's playing great golf right now. Um, I think Chris Kirk is going to surprise a lot of people this Ooh, week. Yeah. Maybe. He won Kapalua. That's a really uh, undulating golf course with a lot of elevation changes. Um, uh, if you're looking for a long shot in the top debutante market, this is a tremendous golf course for Stefan Yeager from a course fit standpoint. Obviously, he's competent right now. What is this? Um, what's this like craze of mental coaches? Did you see Wyndham and Stefan Yeager's mental coach got like a full spread on PGA Tour.com today? Julie, credit to all of them. Like, as you listen, you've got to work can on I, it. Can I can I hire Julie for for and, my and for my betting cards? Next we didn't week? we didn't talk about it. It was lovely for me to follow up. Uh follow up Jaeger with that sweat job of uh, oh uh, my gosh congratulations yesterday. buddy yes but but honestly credit like the mental coach like one thing that was happening while Denny was hitting everything is is Bacha didn't like yes he hit a couple soft shots but he didn't seem to like waver like he just kept kind of going he didn't like in that moment so and I don't know anyone working on their mental health listen not gonna lie I, I could you know, sp- improve every relationship you have, let alone yeah. the one trying the what the relate. Like, I'd love to improve my relationship with my family. I'd love to improve my relationship with eating with some bad habits, let alone yeah. my relationship with trying to close a golf tournament on Sunday. Right. So I'm right. not I didn't mean to turn this into a mental health thing, but um, I don't know. You do whatever you can if it if it works. Um, But Chris Kirk. I'm seeing as high as 170 to one on that odds checker grid. Yeah. Uh, probably would take it a little cheap. You probably couldn't get that on, on if with the placings, but um, yeah, I mean, you hit 150 to one with the placings, Andy, you're making yeah. three times the guy who's going to victory lap his running back scoring the first touchdown. Sorry. I yeah. mean, Scotty Scheffler winning. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, Jeffrey, one name. Who's your winner of the 2024 masters? gonna be scotty scheffler but... yeah i mean i can i give a non-scheffler name yeah we'll do non-scheffler division. okay will zalatoris i like that i like that a lot um who's your non-scheffler name uh, non-scheffler non-rory i'm giving you a double non uh non-scheffler non i mean i can't bet him i'm not gonna fit him on my betting card but i think rom is the <laughs> rom's the first guy could be the first guy since I think Rom's going to shove it this week. I, yeah. I do. I, I, Whether I, he wins or not, he's like pulling a. I think he's. Yeah, year, I think right? he'll he's... be. I think he'll be relevant. I think he'll be relevant in yeah. this golf tournament. Um, I, you know, and we haven't seen. Um, I think part of the reason he's getting disrespect in some markets and narrative streets is it's tough to go back to back. But that track he's getting is... disrespected because he hasn't won on live. Like last year, Brooks won twice. He won in Jeddah, and then he won yeah. the week before. And yeah. you're like, if you're as good as we think, like you should be able to pull off a live win. You're the second yeah. best golfer no. on earth. So no. that's why he's getting disrespected. I, and then and there's I'm not the even past, saying some well, of it's And unfair. then there's the past champion stuff. So there's the law. And, and it's so, you know, and then if you have the, 54 holes questions, but live guys answered that at last year's masters from Brooks winning to Phil's performance to Reed's performance. I'm expecting a handful of them to be great up and down the board. We mentioned Reed Sergio's hot. They should be fine. I love Neiman. So uh, that'll be an exciting thing. The masters it's golf. Let's everyone together. This is what we love. I hope everyone does it responsibly andy you and your dad you got to create these amazing memories i'm very jealous of you and excited for you and everybody you know let's let's do our best to hit a winner 
It's the mouth. Enjoy it either way. I'm going to enjoy this thing as long as Scotty's not winning by a touchdown. You know, bet responsibly so you can enjoy it either way, friends. Brandy, I'm Jeff. We'll see you next week because we don't stop. It's Heritage.